gap continues to close. All boats, the last three or four feet bow and stern, they get a little bit thinner, the planks. The planks do? Yeah, that's just how they build them. Some recent repair work. This is just a shim I put on here, but this, this was their attempt. No, R-I-double-B, A-N-D-S, ribbon bands, or ribbons. Ribbons. Port side, number one. Yep. Over 20 feet long. And nice. leave the middle alone, see it? Leave the middle alone, yeah. Heading up to Ventura to see Doug and Clint and uh, Rich. He's back on the team. And this drive takes about 90 minutes. This is the scene about 20 minutes in. Traffic backing up, heading into uh, Pasadena and downtown LA. But here, moving our way north and west, Nice and clear. Doing about 75. Plenty of solar power to make the trip at any speed. All right, we just got off the highway. Sure. Here we go. Doug shop. There's something going on. Ah, sanding. There he is. The gap continues to close. And it's still a pretty big gap, though. For all boats, the last three or four feet bow and stern, they get a little bit thinner, the planks. The planks do? Yeah, that's just how they build them. Because you, you, when you're building the boat, you couldn't really, you could. Imagine trying to, to build that taper in using the rabbit and the framing. Well, sure, yeah, yeah, a little bit of a taper, sure. So, port side's about ready to be reset. Um, by that I mean... So, wait, just, is this number 10 on... That's 9. That's 9, okay. Yeah, we got and all... Here we, here we have only done 8, we're still at 8. Right, what we've got here, these are all cut. For both sides? Yeah, except for the two stern planks. Because we had to, to go back and, and relay out all the plank ends, because they were like, you know, this. <laughs> so we had to get those right. And uh, plus we had a lot of other stuff. Uh, let me pull this off. Actually, hey. Turn this oh. off. <laughs> Let's pull the mask off. Whew. Whoa, uh, yeah, nice standing. day. Are you kidding? November, November 4th. Freaking 85 degrees today at the beach. Snow somewhere. There's the snow somewhere. This is lumber that's already cut for this week's episode. The interior is full of dust right now. Yeah. That's one of the reasons we do this now. See, the bottom's basically shaped close, so we get the top sides pretty close. We get all this dust and everything out of there, so when we do the interior and the decks, it's relatively clean. Then we come down to finish the planking, we just match those up with the bills. Yeah. So that um, you're not lost in space when you're shaping them. All right, 
I see some over. repair work here. Oh yeah. Some recent repair work. This is just a shim I put on here, but this this was their attempt, which worked pretty good, but we had to reshape it a little bit, and there was like, um, right where these two, this here's the top of that one. It wasn't even touching right here. See the shim? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. it wasn't even touching. 316, it's almost a quarter inch gap right there where the plank wasn't even touching the frame. Just, we had to put this in and dub it in so everything lines up good. Well, twist end shaft. Yeah. And when you chamfer the top off, like the other one was. Now, is this the piece that yet to be installed? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it, this way, when it's in, any water won't stand in those frames, it'll drain. It's going to be in about still sticky, but pulls out right. Pulls out. Yeah. Bang it down right into it. Yeah. And then we got to cut a hole in it though. Still. Yep. Yeah. So we got to get all that stuff off the old exhaust. You can probably get a heat gun. Oh, you mean to take it off the old? Yeah. Fruit? They used a lot of 5200 on that, and it's just... Yeah. Well, they didn't want any leaks. Let's hope we don't get any leaks. No, R.I. Double B, A and D S, ribbon bands, or ribbons. Ribbons. Uh, and they're installed because we were taking planks off. There won't be a plank there, nothing to wedge against. So we go to put the course nine in. We can use these rib bands to uh, wedge planks up and so forth. Sure. There'll be a couple more of those planks missing, um, but we knew that. So you'll have to do this rib band a few few times mm, in this middle section. Maybe three more times, yeah. Yeah. After this, <laughs> there aren't enough planks. To, no. Because remember when we were taking the planks off originally. We were taking them off to really get a look at the frames yeah. and, and all that. Those are just little sections. The rest of them see, it still seems to be here. No. No? Just made a butt block right now. And I'm just going to chamfer the back of it. So it doesn't look like just a square piece of wood. Okay, and what does that word mean, in chamfering? Chamfer means to, instead of taking a round over bit, like a lot of people do, so it's nice, just rounded. A chamfer is a nice, clean, takes that edge off. Okay. Makes it look nice. Right. Look nice, but... Also, you want any sharp corners? No sharp corners. Oh, much better. It just gives a good, clean appearance. If it was just rounded over, Probably look like a high school woodshop project. <laughs> <laughs> Doug would not like that. And where this is in the boat, there's not, the frames are nice and straight, so there's no shape to this one. Okay, nice. A lot of the ones in the belly, we had to shape. We had to get up there and hold it against the frames, kind of shape it in so okay. everything, you know, planks land on nicely. And gotcha, of course, of course. That, this is a pretty easy one to make. It's nice and flat, so. So. You give about a half inch overhang on top and bottom planks. Okay. When we put it in, go like that, get everything clamped up, we can drill it. It goes right where it's supposed to go. Very good. You're going to put that in now? No. No, I'm just getting them made and then they're going to get painted. And then we go to install the planks. And the planks have been battened already and clamped in place exactly where they go. Right. Then we set these in here, do all the drilling at one time and that way. So you're not, are you putting any uh, planks together right now? And then? You no, we've got all the planks cut for course nine, both sides. But right now we're, as you can see, he's fairing and I'm repairing and I'm going to get all four of the butts made. So Fairing and repairing? Fairing and repairing. <laughs> Small repairs, frame repairs, and okay. whatever we have to glue up. All right, so there are still some repairs being done right now? Yeah, plus the reban. Um, and we'll concentrate on that side right now because he's over here sanding. But then the next thing to do is take off plank 11 there. Sure. No, she's beautiful. Look at her. Yep. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous shape. this at near at near and slightly below the water line which is where we are was a function of what we talked about the the water line is always the pl place where you get the most damage to your fasteners due to you know the wet dry stuff wet dry wet dry 
and the fact that stray currents love to stay on top of the water. So the rivet heads were just gone. And so they just added a bunch of screws in the center of the frames, three per frame, <laughs> in addition to the two. Oh yeah, this is a lot of repair work here, huh? Right, so it split the frames. So in a lot of cases, you can just spread that split, put your epoxy and fibers in there and clamp it back together. Um, which is also why uh, we're using bolts because uh, a bolt doesn't have to put the type of stress on it that a screw will in these smaller frames. And the frames are so small that to get a good bite and a good screw would be hard to do. Uh, in this whole area from the deck down, we're delaminating. Okay. So we would go take putty knives and whatever and force the epoxy deep into the laminates and reclamp them while we're at it. I think every bulkhead except the one way up forward was doing that. Just for a couple of three inches, maybe four at the most. Well, it's each time you open it up, you find the next three inches. Oh, sure. <laughs> and so you can see this bulkhead. You see a little bit of repairs. Come around this side. those wedges there. So that's what that was all about. Um, so you're just trimming off the, uh, the length there? Yeah, I'm going to trim some of that length off of this. A bit longitudinal for you. Yeah. Ooh. Perfect, yeah. You know, the uh, cutting off all those long bolts inside? Yeah. We, uh, you can cut that chunk of plank out, Quinn. Yeah, I guess I could, huh? You know where the butt's gonna be? Yeah. Okay. That's where the butt, that's where the marking says the butt plug goes. Yeah. These planks were off quite a bit like this. You can see here, this one's off three quarters of an inch higher than this one. Okay. This one was similar, but lower. <laughs> and, but first of all, they, really different than this area right here in their widths. So we're going to cut this plank out <clears throat> and bring the widths close to being the same three, four, six feet down. But we want the ends to end up as nice as we can. Well, we can see that one at the top isn't... It's terrible. Is it's how we had to do it though. Well, we, we picked it back up here. Right. So. And I realize you're not going to varnish the photo, it's going to be covered with paint. But still, why not, you know? Yeah, at yeah. Least, at least try to make it symmetrical. So, yeah, we've been tapering back from about here. The planks taper from the, our now inch and an eighth. Good, good thickness and more. Down to just over an inch here. At, at the, at the uh, transom. Same up on the stem. The last three or four feet on every boat's always tapered. Okay. Okay, so this is number nine. Port. Port side, number one. Yeah. Over 20 feet long. Yeah, and these are port. How side. close to this is, how many times do you want to put this up to fit it? Well, on the other side, it went up twice. To fit it. Okay. So. See, the bow planks are fairly easy on this boat. Okay. Yeah, they look pretty straight. There's not a whole lot of bend. There's only a little bit of. You gotta come around this side. Uh -huh. And you can see here, there's not very much bend. So, the first 10 feet or so, the boat's pretty consistent, inch and an eighth, and it's fairly flat. So, we, we run this down to an inch and an eighth, and then about 10 feet down or so, we, we taper it up to an inch and a quarter because about there, the, the, the boat starts getting some shape like this. Okay. A little convex shape. And uh, so we have to leave this thickness. In the belly, you have to leave your planks quite a bit thicker. Right. Because you're taking some out of the inside. Right. And then they're gonna be sitting here like this on the outside. You gotta take some off the seams on sure. the outside. So, uh, in fact, on the bottom, a couple of those planks turn up over an inch and a half. To carve that to shape. To carve that shape. Yeah. That shape. Uh, well, oh, I see. That's what you're doing. You're carving the shape. Yeah. And like this one here. We, we so that it sits. Yeah. 
So this is the back side. Yeah, that's, that's the just, inside of starboard number two. You see it's got a little bit of a curve. Mm -hmm. And that's just done a general, that's that just, just done by eye, just taking out a little bit and seeing how the plank lays on the... Well, <laughs> when you're learning this process, you have to make little patterns every so often mm -hmm. and check them on there. But when you've been doing it as long as I have, you can look at the work. Uh, I need to take out this much. It's so to learn that. As you can see, I can see, right, it flattens out at a certain point, it bends at a certain point. Yeah. And of course, as we've said before, there's many reasons why the shutter plank is where it is. Because there's very little shape to the frames. There's some curve, but not much. And there's very little twist in the planks. And also you can use the jack stands to push the plank in because there'll be no place to clamp. Right. When we get to that point, that glorious day. That glorious day, which yeah. is on the, oh. on the 2015 horizon. Hopefully. So, with something with a 2015 in it. A month with one syllable. <laughs> Still looking very dusty. Nothing happening up here right now. But soon, back up soon. It's all ready. Starting up the fans. This is where we get our money's worth. Doug Sanding. Yeah. It's not that exciting. This is the art. This is the art. I don't know that much going on in Ventura these days. Uh, course number eight. Yeah. See how thick that plank is? Yes. Yeah. That's because we had to shape the back and leave the outside heavy so we could get the round started into it. Okay. So if you look back here at this angle, you'll see. Whoop. See that one? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So now you got to sand that. It's not. It's not uh, so much that you can plane it. I planed it some. Planed it some. Okay. But when you're doing the convex part of the hole, yeah, stay out of the middle and work the seam. When you're down here, stay out of the seam and work the middle. It's going the other way. Okay. Now down there, there's some places where. It'll go like this and it'll start to go the other way. So you gotta keep it, keep your wits about it. And leave the center of the plank alone. Focus on the seams? Yeah, because that's the thickest part when it's laying on the boat. Okay, and yeah. You want to leave that center. You see up here, see how it's, the seam is proud? Yeah. You focus on that. And, and nice. leave the middle alone, see it? Leave the middle alone, yeah. Soon you'll start getting this feel for it. Once you get it to where it's just kind of smooth, smooth lumpy, you can even go like this. We're not, we're not there yet. Not there yet. No. Got you. Well, up here, the boat has some fairly strange lines. Not as radical as this back half, so. There's not a whole lot of that seam business. 
up. But you can see this how thick this is? Yeah. It's over an eighth inch, almost an eighth inch sticking out. But right here on the inside, we took an eighth out almost. So this plank, when you sand this, would be a consistent thickness inside the house. Bottom alone, the number nine is on. No use guessing there. <laughs> right. And that's a large part of what this is all about. It's a nice scene, huh? Yeah, very nice. thing you should do when you're fearing a haul like this, all we're doing right now is getting rid of material and lumps and bumps and trying to get close to the final thickness. But there's about two guys for a good two or three days that know what they're doing should board sand this boat. Two weeks from today, we want to be up on top. Finish course nine. Come on. <laughs> you can get it done. Well, between that and the plugging, as you know, that takes a lot of time. But yeah. that would be nice. That, that's a good goal to go to shoot for. Because today, tomorrow, and Friday, I'm going to be sanding on the hull. So if they get the port side done today, maybe by tomorrow by noon is the latest, and you can blow that down and Rich can come in and, and start plugging it. Uh, gotcha, so you got a day of sanding, hence of that sanding. Oh yeah, I've been on this for two days, four sides. Really? It'll take me to, you know, the rest of the day to finish, finish, and then uh, whatever countersinking we're going to do, we'll do tomorrow. So Rich will probably come in Friday, because the idea is to get that side done, he's over there and we're not stumbling over each other. And, uh, and he's doing the repairs, he's putting the rib band on. Yep. And on the other side, when Rich is over there plugging and I'm over here making a giant dust cloud, he can start cutting out plank tin on that side. All right, two weeks from today. So what do we got today? We're wrapping up. We've got uh, most of nine cut, not installed yet, right. but should be installed in the next couple of days, next week. Any more patching and repair work to do? Well, when we take off this course right here, we'll see. Oh, yes, you have to take off the number 10. Oh, yeah, one more little thing about that. Somebody just pushed me. Every boat, in my experience, one side is always better than the other. Yes. Starboard side was worse so far. Probably because we were always tied up on one side. Yeah, or the sun's beating on that side, it's dry, wet, dry, wet. Or you're up next to a dock that's hot. Yeah, yeah. Or another boat that's hot. But for whatever reason, Seems like one side and the port side is, you can see, there aren't any sister frames, hardly any splits. See it? Yeah. Starboard side was hammered. Starboard side looked bad, yeah. So that's just a little tip. Okay. I don't know what it means. I don't know. All right. Probably Today's the fifth. Warming. We'll Global see you on the 19th. <laughs> Two weeks. Hey. We better get this done because the sea levels are coming up. Yeah, no shit. We're gonna, We're gonna be launching this thing right from here. We'll put All right. Right there. Put the boat yard out of Until next time. <laughs>